Hey YouTube, this is Sean, and today I'm going to show you how to play December on guitar. Now I'm going to jump right into it because there's a lot to cover in this song, and um, I don't have a lot of time to do it. So here we go, starting right on the top of the verse, it starts on the chord F. It goes to A minor, to C, back to F, D minor, So that's the first half of the verse. I'll break those down again. <clears throat> this is F for two beats, A minor for two beats, C for two beats, back to F for two beats, D minor, again two beats, likewise G, and then I'm going to go F for one and then hold C out for the rest of the three beats, and that makes four measures. So here we go again. One last time on the first part of the verse. It goes F, A minor, C, F again, D, G, F, C. Alright, now we're on to the second half of the verse. This goes like this. D minor, minor with a C in the bass, A minor, A minor with a G in the bass, D with an F sharp in the bass, F, C, F, C, one last time, F, C. Now, let's break that down, because that's a little more difficult. This is D minor, and then we put D minor with a note C at the bottom. I'm going to show you how to make all of these chords at the end, if you really have to dig into what I'm doing. So this is D minor over C, A minor, A minor with a G on the bottom, D with an F sharp in the bass. So those are again two measures each until you reach the FC and the FC is more like one, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, four, like that. Okay, that is the second half of the verse. Let me play that one more time. this D over F sharp, you're going to hold that out for a whole measure, so just watch out for that. Alright, now we're into the pre-chorus, the pre-chorus goes like this, D minor, instead of two beats or half a measure. And again it goes like this. D minor, G, C, A minor, D minor, G. And then we're at the chorus. This is the pre-chorus. One last time on the pre-chorus. to the chorus. Now the chorus goes like this. It is C with the G in the bass. So it's like a C chord, except for 
also playing the third fret of the E string. Makes the sound super big. C with the G in the bass. Sounds like a G chord because the bass player is playing that G. But it's not, it's a C chord, so you gotta listen to everything else too. And then we're gonna go to A minor 7. A minor 7 is just A minor without your ring finger, your third finger. E minor 7. E minor plus fret 3 of the B string. To F. So, it's going to go like this, one measure each, C over G, A minor 7, E minor 7, F, play it again, C with the G in the bass, A minor 7, E minor 7, but this time you're going to finish with stuff. So basically you're playing the same thing twice. Verse, each section, pre-chorus, chorus, play the whole thing over again, and then you're on to the bridge. But let me play the chorus one more time for you. One measure of piece, don't forget. Okay, now I'm going to jump all the way to the bridge. So imagine you just played everything twice, and now we're at the bridge after the second chorus. It's going to go like this. I am going A minor, G with a B in the bass, which is like this. Basically, just taking your middle finger off the neck, off the fretboard, and just playing everything else with a G chord. C is after that, and then E minor, and then F. Play F however you want. And all of those are one beat long except for the last chord. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Do it again. third time, however, just like, just like the chorus, we're going to do a D minor at the end instead of an F. And once we reach there, we're going to just alternate between D minor, G, D minor, G. And that's the end of the bridge, and we're going to go back to the chorus, except the first time through the chorus is going to be instrumental. With some, with some drums in there too. have separate endings, so watch out for that. I think that's all for as far as what the chords are. Now I'm going to show you how to make all of these chords. 
said I had a lot to cover. I do. Okay, so here's how you make these chords if you don't know how to make these chords. So, uh, let's start on C. C is first finger, first fret, B string, second finger, second fret, D string, third finger, third fret, A string, fretting all the strings except for the low E string. D minor goes like this. First finger, first fret, E string, second finger, second fret, G string, third finger, third fret, B string, or pinky finger. I like to use that since I can have the baseball grip still. D minor. E minor is like this. Actually, is there a regular E minor in here? No, it's just E minor 7, okay? E minor 7 is like this. First two fingers on the second fret of the A and D string, and then third or fourth finger on the third fret of the B string allows me to play that 7. This is the D note. F is like this. I'll give you this version. First finger, first fret, B string. Second finger, second fret, uh, G string. Fourth finger, third fret, D string. Third finger, third fret, A string. Playing just the ones you're holding down. We'll make an F chord. G. There's lots of ways to make G, but um, in general, first finger, first fret, A string. Second finger, third fret, uh, E string. Let me say that again. First finger, second fret, A string. 2nd finger, 3rd fret, E string, there you go. And then, whatever note on the top here, 3rd fret of the B, E strings. Like one commenter said, there's lots of different ways to play G. Which way is the right way? They're all right. As long as you got a G here, you can have the B open or the B on fret 3. If you don't even want to play the high G, you can just play to the B string. Sometimes I feel like I don't want to have that super high G in my G chord, so just leave it out. Anyway, that's a G. A minor goes like this, first finger, first fret, B string, third finger, second fret, G string, second finger, second fret, D string, playing all the strings except for the low E. And then to get your A minor 7, you're just going to take your third finger off, leaving the G string open, and there is your A minor 7. Um, ba -ba -ba. G over B. We talked about that one a little bit earlier. You're just taking your G chord, however you make that G chord, and taking your middle finger off to make the B the bottom note. A minor over G. A minor over G is just putting this extra G at the bottom here. You do that by adding your pinky to the third fret of the E string. Let's see D minor over the G. Excuse me, D minor over C is taking a D minor chord, adding a C. This is where you want to play the B string with your fourth finger, so you can have room to grab the C down here. You know, doing this is not absolutely necessary but it does give the character of the song away. Okay, um, D over F sharp. Oh, I forgot about that one. D over F sharp is like this. First finger, second fret, E string. Second finger, second fret, G string. Third finger, third fret, B string. It gives you all the notes for uh, a D with an F sharp in the bass. Play all of them except the high E string this time. That's all the chords. Yeah, that's all the chords. It's a lot in this one. So if you have any questions, just let me know. I'm also going to put all of the charts that we just did in the information section, as well as a link to my website. If you want lessons, just let me know. We'll figure something out. I'm Sean, thanks for watching, thanks for your suggestion. This was suggested by a viewer. Please give me more suggestions. I'm happy to learn some songs as long as they kind of fit the instrument. And even, not if, even if it doesn't, I can probably find a way to make it work.
So I'm Sean, thanks for watching again, I will see you next time.